Uh, dearest, uh, beloved, divine friends, family, brothers, sisters, your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, in the raw, RK Guyana Free Media, and this is a very important, special, and urgent message of what appears to be a crisis taking place in Guyana. It has to do with uh, the evolution of nefarious criminality. It has to do with criminality that even hinges on the rapes of children and old women in our country. Now when rape preponderates in crime in a nation, it is a very serious cause for worry, my beloved divine friends and family. And I, your brother Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, has been thinking a lot about this. And over the years, I've been writing a lot in the media. I have been commenting a lot on the airwaves and social media. And uh, I'm always talking about crime. For here, like in my book, which will be released very soon, an article amongst many that I wrote, Tougher Penalties Needed Against Crime. Um, bring back hard labor jail sentences, which is uh, being used in uh, Trinidad. At this time, as I speak, friends and family, I had another one, and I wrote many on, on rapes, on the rape of a security guard in Linden, in Guyana. Now this kind of criminality, as it pertains to rapes by adults of children and old women and any kind of rapes of the magnitude that we are seeing in Guyana these days is um, relevant of what uh, is referred to as a sick society. Guyana sadly is becoming a very sick society. For the last five years, the government did absolutely nothing. One senior member of the government watching over law enforcement was mostly concerned with his ego and his alcohol and his ridiculous pronouncements and telling people who are questioning him instead of looking upon them as his guide and advisors, that's the journalist, Harley or so-and-so. I, I don't even have what it takes to use the words. Harley or A. You know, these are cause to worry. These are things that develop a very sick society and we get enveloped in it. Now, I saw in the media today that the Honorable Minister Windia Pursud, Social Ministry of Social Security and Human Services while on a campaign to bring awareness and to educate and serve the Guyanese people in Region 6 spoke about this. And she's saying that the penalties are not harsh enough and I agree with that. One harshness of penalty serves a purpose. Hoping to do studies because I keep on hearing certain people saying studies, and those who are talking about ED studies are people, if you observe, are pseudo-intellectuals who are looking out to make some money. Um, the fact is, a penalty is one, and some of the penalty that has to go with rapes has to be extremely serious. Now, this rape of this 97-year or 98-year-old woman in Region 6 speaks about the sickness, the disease, the degradation of our society. It shows how we are falling and breaking apart. It shows that our nation is actually a dead nation or that we are dying and very little is being done. I know this government with this minister of power that we have in conjunction with the power that be in the Guyana police force, the cabinet, and no other than His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali and former President Barajagni and the Master of Law 
and military procedure, Brigadier Mark Phillips, our honorable beloved Prime Minister, friends and families, Guyana is on the threshold of greatness. And if we don't capture in reasonable level the criminal activities that perpetuates, that pervades in Guyana, we will be on a sorry slope of self-destruction and degradation. Now, coming to penalties for these lewd acts of crime against children, we need, first of all, immediately upon conviction that the home of the family where they live must have a signboard. Herein lives a child molester. Herein lives a sexual predator and has to be there by law and be posted up. And every time such a person, when they come out of jail, must report to the police station, whichever area they're going to. Going to prison does not mean that they have been rehabilitated. So working on rehabilitation is one, trying to get the guilt complexes to, to nurture and to grow while in prison through certain special programs might be useful, my divine friends and families. But we need drastic actions. Now, they are, let us say, our bleeding heart liberals, and we seem to have a lot of that in Guyana. Suddenly they turn great liberals in, in support of the criminals, and particularly our human rights association, uh, who's, which operates like, a, like an opposition to government and which is more concerned with protecting the criminals and which appears to be the expansion of criminality over law-abiding citizens and the law of the land. When they come out of the prison, if you can't post it up immediately, it must be posted by law on a material that can be really easily removed and posted at their homes and the community needs to be informed. Now, in the country areas, particularly in Corriverton, we are still accustomed to the loud hailer. When movies are showing or political parties are having events, we need to use the same system to go around and educate the people as to the reality as to what is taking place in Guyana in that the sexual predator is being released. It needs to be announced. Photographs need to be emblazoned in the newspapers social media and also in the television, radio and something posted up at the homes of the individual with their photograph and a sign at the side. Warning, large letters, a sexual predator lives here. This is a necessity. Secondly, we need to quickly move, and I'm calling on Dr. Irfan Ali, and we know in Islam, the religion of Islam, the, the veracity, the seriousness of criminal activities and how they are dealt with. Rapes are very serious. So I'm calling for laws to be created whereby it's life imprisonment with hard labor, monies to be used 50% for the upkeep in the prison, and 50% of the labor to go as a compensation to the family. It might not be good, some bleeding heart liberals might say to want to give compensation or payment, but it will help them to have a better life and will help them to feel somehow better. So I'm saying 50% of the hard labor. Trinidad still practices hard labor. And we need to establish that again in Guyana. And for rapes of any kinds, we need to re-establish the barbaric whipping. So when they come out of jail, they will not be able to do these kinds of things anymore. And thirdly, hanging. They make a choice of the hanging. They either have life imprisonment with hard labor, being hanged by the neck until death, or castration and about five or ten years imprisonment. This is how I see friends and families, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to 
tell you. It seems to some of these sick people, including relatives, I know of a, a military man, a, a corporal, years ago, who raped his stepson. I think it was in Vreden Hope, the west coast of Demerara. A two-year-old boy that was left with him in the hammock as the mother went, and the stepfather raped that little boy. I would have liked to know what happened to that man. We have seen so many children being raped by stepfathers, uncles, and in some cases, by parents. The parental rapings by fathers are coming mostly in the interior areas, unfortunately, when alcohol is in mind. And we have seen many women are being raped generally by men of ill will. So we need serious laws in Guyana as it pertains to rape. Dearest beloved divine friends and families, your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Ocean Khan, in the raw, supporting our minister, law and order, and calling for maximum penalties, including death by hanging for child rapers, old people rapers, and all rapes in the land. Remember, as I said, it shows a sickness in the society when crime preponderates, and more so when rape becomes what appears to be a kind of a way of life for certain people in our country. Our government is a government of the people, by the people, for the people. As a spokesperson generally in Guyana, and the administrator and spokesperson of here in the raw, RK's Guyana Free Media and calling upon the government of Guyana to seriously address this issue and no big money spending on studies. We want the laws revised. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji Dr. Ocean, can in the raw say thank you for tuning in and farewell, friend.